What's up creators, I'm Zard and this is my last Gems of War commentary video, at least for now. Uh, for quite some time I've felt more stress than joy when doing these clips. Every week there is new stuff that would require doing some content, then you, when you have limited time it starts to feel like it's more of a core than an actual hobby, uh, or a happy thing in general. <clears throat> then when you add the fact that English isn't my first language, uh, you actually have to prepare for the videos, which adds to the stress. Uh, I actually record a new mythic video on Friday, and about halfway I start to mumble so badly that I said screw this and stop recording. <laughs> Hell, sometimes I have to check word from Google Translator beforehand. Uh, and then you have to clear your throat and, <laughs> well, you get the point, it's not fun for me anymore. Uh, but hey, it's not the end of the world, there are plenty of awesome gem YouTubers out there, so you will definitely get your daily dose of Gems of War videos. And who knows, maybe I release a clip every now and then. I'll definitely post successful pure faction runs though, cause that is what I actually enjoy doing. Alright, enough of the whining, let's talk about the uh, new mythic, Gemini. So, so first of all, what do we want from new troops? We want to devour. What else do we want? Little shots. What else? Looping. Does this new troop do any of those? No. This troop does not add anything new on the table. It's basically a worse version of Suna. Uh, uh, Arachnia Weaver does the job better as well, even though she doesn't steal life, but she has other nice things both in spellcast and uh, traits. And uh, uh, Dracos, for example, steals life from all enemies. Yes, once again, I'm a little bit of nelly negative here, so let's try to think of the positives of this troop. Uh, well, as you can see, Gemini steals life, rather than just doing base true damage. And uh, life stealing adds survivability, which is always a bonus. Uh, the troop art is creepy AF, which of course is a bonus. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, that's about it really. Sir, if you can add 4 stacks of bleed on your enemy, that's a true damage per turn to them, but that bleed or curse isn't anything to get excited about. Ah, uh, that's the bleed code was broken when I tested this, so... Well, I wonder if they fixed it. Uh, well, well, honestly, the only occasion uh, where I would personally use this troop is some world event with certain color restrictions, where the event metal boosts spell damage. Uh, when the spell damage is boosted, life still is very overpowered. This combined with, say, Life and Death or Secrets of the Crypt, that's good word even combo. Uh, so th that is something to keep in mind. But uh, all this said, uh, someone out there might be thrilled of this new mythic group. So let's check this team, which should suit everyone regardless of their level. Uh, we are using Life and Death up top. It makes sense to have some other life stealing mechanics add so that you can speed up the fights. And uh, <coughs> now, because the mythic or weapon don't have any looping potential whatsoever, we need some solid mana generation. And who are you gonna call? Ghost Centuricon! You know the drill. This fan favorite provides very good mana generation and doesn't require high global magic stats like Troll and other gem destroyers do. And at the bottom we use Leprechaun uh, for a quick start. And uh, of course you can use Leprechaun in the middle of the fight to generate some mana as well. Uh, class choice is really all the same. 50% uh, start helps. Barrier at survivability, some storm is always welcomed. Basically just pick what you want to level up really. I'm using Titan, uh, Titan, 50% uh, 50, 50 start, uh, lightning strike, thunder fist gives one magic to the Gemini, storm aura, 
helps with the uh, start of the battle and so on. Uh, well, let's try this team in practice. Let's go there. Some midstone bonus. There. And let's go. I'm not too excited about this new troop. I'm pretty sure you heard that. Already. Let's get Centurion up and generate some mana. Now we start with life and death. Then we cast Gemini who will uh, target those bottom two troops. And as we can see the bleed code is still messed up. Uh, that third troop there, uh, Haunt Guardian, should have three stacks of bleed but it has only two. Way to go man. Cast Leprechaun, cast life and death, generate mana, and do the life stealing. We have to fill up our century gun so that we can loop after life and death cost. Generate some mana. More. And I have to say this is not a very good team in my opinion. It's really hard to use this troop because uh, because it doesn't loop. That's a really big thing. Uh, these days, really. Cost Leprechaun because now there are some greens actually on the board. Take extra turns. Generate mana for Gemina. Mm, yep. Cost Life and Death. We'll take that. And we have to take that as well. Cost Gemini and life and death. Mm, we don't have extra turn from. Uh, we do actually do that from Centurion. Cost explode the board with Leprechaun and cost life and death. And we have already battled about a minute now and I'm getting very bored. This is slow. But again, somebody might be thrilled with this new troop. Good for them, really. That bleed is actually pretty useful. As you can see, now when I pass my turn, that troop will die because of the bleed over there. There. One more and then I'm done with this video. Get things going. That was a nice start. Cast life in death. And then Gemini. Generate mana with Centurion. Now this rolls like it should. Life and death. Yes. Beautiful. Gemini. We don't have extra turn, so cast Leprechaun. Plenty of green stair. And this was somewhat quick. 40 seconds. But still not quick enough for me. That kind of clip. I hope you enjoy your time with the new mythic. I certainly don't. And uh, farewell for now. Have a great journey.
Stay safe and peace.